chaussures maintenant. Aïe Evelyn! Who is this? George. A friend. We have a situation I'm hoping you'll help with. Evelyn, a friend of yours is a friend of ours. But uh, we've got a situation of our own brewing. Our um, Spanish friends want us to hand these supplies over to some, how do you say, patriot, at the edge of the swamp. Patriots. What? Well, you know, from the north. 
rébellion, upheaval, etc. A business opportunity by any other name. But for some reason, the Spanish soldiers keep trying to steal the supplies back. This sounds awfully familiar. You don't think... Oh, I try never to think. <laughs> Suppose George and I were to help you with your rogue Spanish soldier problem. Would your patriot friends escort him north? If they want more supplies, they'll accept. Good. Let's go. These are the goods? Everything the Gouverneur promised. And a few uh, bonus items from your friends in the bayou. Excellent. You weren't detected, I hope? Not by any who still breathes. <laughs> Monsieur Hopton, 
How secret is your arrangement with our Spanish gouverneur? Any fool can see the Spanish want to keep the English out of their territory. Any sense why Spanish soldiers would be shooting at us? We did meet one man who didn't seem so keen on the arrangement. A contrary fellow. Vasquez, I think was his name? The company man is here. The what man? <coughs> uh, Monsieur Hopton, if you want your supplies to make it out of La Louisiane, additional security would be wise. May I suggest George accompany you? Certainly. If he's willing to fight, the Patriot cause will be glad to have him. I will fight for you, sir. Oh. Over any cause. Be careful, Monsieur Hopton. I hope to see you again. Um, Monsieur Roussillon and I value your business. I will. The, uh, Patriots value your support.
Aveline. Gérald, he is back. Vasquez, the company man. Have any of your informants seen him? No. Aveline, since last week I have lost two of my men. Killed. Poison. <sighs> this is his work. I must find him. Perhaps he will attend the Capitan's ball this evening. Shall I confirm your attendance? Oui. Thank you, Gérald. And, um, Aveline, I... You will need someone to accompany you. I don't suppose... Gérald, are you asking to accompany me? Uh, well... Oui. For, um, blending purposes, I believe it would be best. Strictly business, of course. Of course. But not too strict, I hope. Revolution! <laughs> what a noble concept. Of course, war is always good for business. Particularly a war that's not in our territory. The good Spanish governor provides the goods. I relay them to my associates in the bayou. And they handle the... transfer. Completely bloodless. <laughs> for me! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Aveline. Lovely as ever. How does your father fare? Stubborn, as always. I look forward to seeing him on his feet soon. You must allow me one dance, that I may showcase your grace in your father's stead. That is very kind, Monsieur de Saint-Maxin. And if you could perhaps waltz me by your esteemed associate in the blue cravat, I have a business opportunity I'd like to put before him. Evelyn, always so serious. Nothing like my daughter Marie Félicité. He is no true military man. 
I assure you. Twice the recruiters have approached me, uh, claiming to offer me promotion if I'll serve in his secret unit. Uh, but I don't trust it, no, senor. Good man. We could use more young men like you, with a head on their shoulders. Good evening, senorita. Uh, you look familiar. Uh, were you at the governor's dinner party last week? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't remember your name. Perfectly understandable for a man with such important affairs as yours, Capitan. Thank goodness for your service in the colony. The thanks is all mine, senorita. Will you allow me to express it with a dance? Why, certainly, Capitan. I should warn you to be careful, senorita. Even here at this delightful party, a danger is present. All soldiers are not what they appear. We were just discussing a terrible man. How scandalous! Is he here tonight? He is, at this moment, seated at a secluded table. Until the gavotte, Capitan. I shall think of nothing else. should marry. <laughs> um, whichever of us is the best dancer. You would have me dance with all of you. I shall be exhausted. Please, senorita, allow me to save you the trouble. You need only dance with me. <laughs> Marie Felicité, I thought the Duce Maxon girls only had eyes for governors. Now who is this? Senorita, give us your name. That we may know how to address the fairest woman at the bar. Fair? I think not. But still, your complexion is beguiling. Uh, please, senorita, allow me to complete your dance card. I'm afraid it's already full. That is simply her way. Have you heard? She prefers her father's warehouse to tea parties. Never calls on any of us. And her complexion? <laughs> I do believe the minuet is the next dance, Senor Vasquez. Si, si. Can we retire somewhere private to discuss it? Si, si. Lead the way. What? 
futile murder and beautiful death. She will make you suffer. Madeleine! Avelyn, I did not know you were attending. I came only to find you. How could you? A ball with your father on his deathbed. I... Save your words. It is too late. He is gone. Papa! No. I am so sorry, but you had to know with your circumstances that he could not leave you anything. Of course, my house remains open to you. I care not about his will, only that he has gone. His business is in my name, but I consider it yours. The law has no place between us. Although the reconstruction of our network has required an investment of several years, the help of our American friends means we can now reach further than before. One of our newest informants sends word of a loyalist in New York who might, with a little pressure, unmask the company man. Please, go to New York and find your brother Connor. I have enlisted his help in locating Officer Davidson of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian Regiment. Connor? I'm Aveline de Grand Prix, your brother from New Orleans. Yes. Achilles told me you would come. I seek a loyalist, Officer Davidson, of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian Regiment. That regiment passed through here. Look at the destruction they left. Their trail leads this way. We will follow them carefully. Over there, through the trees. A trap! Keep after the century. I will hold off these men.
Unhand me! One chance to keep your life. Where is Davidson? Who? Come on, time's up. He's in the fort. That was easy. Why is it you call yourselves loyalists again? Easier to be loyal in the safety of the fort than out in the snow with a knife to your neck. Run home, now. And don't let me see you again. You won't be able to run then. Yes, ma'am. To the fort! We climb. Can you get across? Can you find a way in? I will go around and divert attention.
Officer Davidson, if you would kindly pay me the respect my rock commands now. Fighting for the British? And working for my enemy who would enslave you? I'll say something's rank. Ha! The loyalists have guaranteed my freedom. I will fight for it and win it for myself. Meanwhile, the slaves and the poor are targets in New Orleans, and you play the hero in New York. Who do you serve? And do you really think yourself free? Charity should begin at himself, Miss Avellino. Oh! <sighs> 
I had hoped it would not come to this. Now, in death, eternal freedom. You mock me. I chose my destiny. That is real freedom. Perhaps one day you will know it too. I... Who is the company man? <laughs> the answer has been in your own backyard all along. Just open your eyes. <sighs> Did you find what you sought? We, oui. and much that I didn't. Connor, are you always certain in the means and ways of the Brotherhood? I trust my own hands. Of course. Travel safely. It's the arrival that concerns me. <laughs> then you are on the right path.
Evelyn, what a pleasant surprise. I trust you had a safe journey? Safety? Ha! <laughs> what a quaint concept. Evelyn, are you well? You may quit your maternal act, company man. I'm well aware of your true identity. <laughs> oh, Evelyn, do not be so angry. Do you think that I do not know where you go when you climb through your window? To the rooftops at night? How you played the dainty daughter to your doting father? How you pretend to blend with slaves of all people? As if you could conceal your true self from me. <laughs> My dear, sweet stepdaughter. You are alive today because I needed you. Because I still need you. For what? Sit down. For that, don't you think? My men will kill you. Then what will be left of your precious brotherhood? At ease. Look at us. So sad. How many years have we worked together for the slaves? Ha! You kept them enslaved on your own terms, out of sight for your ill gain. You ended that, as was my intention. Monsieur de Ferrer had different ideas. He perverted my peaceful colony into something ugly. You had to kill him. I owe you gratitude. I don't believe you. Evelyn, I love you. I raised you as my own. I was unable to bear children, but you brought light to my life. My whole life you lied to me. I am sorry. It was necessary. Mother's duty is to protect. But look at me now in the light of truth. You, who know so well the pain of a life lived in secret, shrouding your power in petticoats and lace, pretending obedience to men who deny you the right to your own abilities. Am I really so strange to you? I needed you to quash the terrorist elements in my organization. I need you still. I cannot let the assassins waste your talents. You are too valuable to me. As a tool to manipulate? I know you have been frustrated. Agate. I disobeyed. De Ferrer would still live if he had his way. You see, your aims match mine. Join me, Avelyn. Finish what you started. Agate! The student returns. Why? What use have you suddenly found for old Agate? I have discovered the identity of the company man. What? Did you not kill him years ago? That was not the company man. <laughs> you ignored my warning, and now you see your error. It was your responsibility to know as much as mine, Agate. I was a child when you brought me into the Brotherhood and made me an assassin. You pretended to protect me, to root out the enemy. And all along...
long, my own stepmother, Madeleine, was the company man. Iniquity runs in the family. Agate, stop! Recover your senses! No! It cannot be! Agate! What have you done to me? The order is the future. The locket you wear. I know it well. But you. <laughs> Does your conscience attack you? Agate! Stop! That day, when the sailors attacked you, I should not have intervened. I thought you had the spirit of a warrior, like your mother. But you only take after your father, that waxy, pale slave master. You have no right! <laughs> Our race must not be so different. Deception. Nothing more. Ah! Just open your eyes. Agate, it doesn't have to be like this. The shards of the Chichen Itza disc. Work with me. Tell me what they are for. I told you never to speak to me of that. The knowledge, it will destroy us all. And without it, we will continue to stumble blindly towards huh. what? <laughs> Not towards. Away. Put it from your mind.
Mentor, do not force my hand. The Agate who trained me is a man of truth and courage. I know he still lives within you. Let him out again. Oh. What have I wrought? I should have stayed with your mother. You should have been my child. Raised as a daughter. Not twisted into this... monster. Go now, Agate. Run! And promise never to return. You would bid me a coward's slow, pointless death? As you did Uyoa! I will not live with the dishonor! I... Agate! No! I have done as you asked. He is dead. And the disc? Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. To never share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death? Whatever the cost, I do. Then I welcome you into our arms, sister. Together we shall usher in the dawn of a new world, one in which our hands will ensure that all things find their proper place. My daughter, you are one of us now. May the Father of Understanding guide us, May the Father of Understanding guide us. of sacrifice and we have all the pieces I am certain of it unless
Blame Chichen Itza and the Ferrer, but I see through you. My daughter. No. <laughs> daughter? Only two people can call me that. You banished one and sacrificed the other. Foxglove. You killed my father with your care and your tonic. Why? Because he never truly loved you? And Jeanne? My mother? You stole her child, sent her away. You kept her enslaved even after my father had freed her. And now you attempt to return me to that fate. In the service of humanity. In work. The purpose for which you were created. We were created. The highest purpose. I will not serve you. It is done.
Pourquoi porte-t-elle des habits d'homme 